Welcome to the second video in a series of three, showing how to have a PRMS decision service working on OpenShift with the, all the webhooks configured. In the second video, we'll create the decision service on OpenShift, we'll configure Maven to use a proxy, and then we will uh, test the service. So let's come to OpenShift. This is a blank project. I'm going to add my decision service. My decision service is going to be based out of a template that's included with the OpenShift 3.1.1 installation. A template is essentially a pre-configured uh, form, which is information that allows us to have a, a easy jump start. So the repo that I'm using is my Git repo here. Uh, this is where the project is, and now I ask OpenShift then to build the project. So right now OpenShift is going to GitHub and it's cloning my repo and we'll start building uh, my BRMS decision service or my OpenShift decision service based on that repo. Uh, as you can see, it's downloading all my dependencies from Maven and from the internet and we do not want it. We want uh, the dependencies to be downloaded from a Maven proxy. And I have a Maven proxy configured here on OpenShift and this, which is in this project here. I configure this Maven proxy using instructions from this blog post which says improving build time of Java builds on OpenShift. I follow the process uh, in the blog and now I have my Maven, my Nexus proxy configured and working properly. So let's do this. Let's change the build configuration uh, to make it use the builds. I'll leave this build here running but I'll change the build configuration so the next builds can take advantage of the proxy. It's very easy to change the build configuration to use a proxy. You just need to add another environment uh, uh, variable, which is the Maven mirror URL. You need to specify a value to this, and the value is going to be uh, the one that's coming from from Maven, from Nexus. So I'll have a group here, which is a group of all my repos. And this is the URL I'm going to use in my project. Um, okay, here it is. I added a Maven URL. It's all fine. So that means that next builds will always get this URL. Right? So we can come here and, and see what uh, URLs have been applied. I'll make sure that my, my Maven URL has been correctly applied. Uh, my spec, oops. Seems that value is not there for some reason. Let's do it again. Okay, let's save. Let's see if it's it's there. Okay, now it is good. I may have uh, missed something there. So it is. That means that all the next builds they would use uh, that Maven. So this one took around one minute and forty to 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 execute. Now I'm going to start the build again. And this next build should take less than that. So let's come to the build and access the build logs and verify that it is using uh, Maven. So starting the build, and as you can see, I'll just go here and stop. Um, it's downloading from my Nexus. So you can see here starting online. When it starts downloading, you see here that it's going to my local Nexus instead of going to the public uh, internet. So that will make my build happen much faster. So uh, it's since uh, downloads will take much less time, right? And while it does uh, the build, I will show you what uh, this project is about, right? So it's a very simple uh, rules package where I will receive a, a, a person and this person has a name. And if this person's name happens to be Retori, I will reply with a salutation that says, at your service, my master. Or a, and then if that person is not Retori, I would say, get out of my way, whatever name that is. So this is a very simple uh, decision service. Let's come back here to OpenShift while doing the build. So the build has been completed and we can see that the build time has improved uh, and quite considerably. It was from one minute and 40 seconds to 55 seconds. So that's one of the advantages of having a proxy. Let's come here to OpenShift. Now OpenShift is starting my Docker image with my decision service 
and as you can see here is light light blue so the light blue means that the container has started but is it not yet ready to respond to requests and that is because we have included a readiness probe on the container that will only uh, let OpenShift send requests to that container when the container has passed all the readiness probes. Uh, you can configure readiness probes to be anything that you want, uh, like a, a, a simple bash script call, for example, that will verify if a certain port is open or uh, that will verify if a certain log information is out there. So here we can see that uh, it has passed the readiness probes and that means we can already send requests to that service. So this is the service URL and I'm going to send a test my very uh, simple BRMS uh, decision service. Uh, I have a REST client, the URL is here, it's correct, so I'm going to send a name that's not Pretori, and uh, we should get something which is, hey you, get out of the way, uh, from the first uh, video, right? And now we're gonna change it to Retori, send, and it will say, hello Retori, at your service, my master, right? So this was uh, the second video in the series of three, Thank you.